Hello everybody and welcome, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video we will learn how to add this Particle.js to our view project. Particle.js is this like library visual stuff like you have like mm, stars or particles moving around your web. So for example, we have here some demos, so I'm gonna click here. And we have here, for example, the Among Us guy floating in the space. So you have a big and important object and you can change all the attributes for example we're gonna change the background so we're going to background color the value we put like blue this is better i think we reload and that's all we have a new background so this is how particle js works with a huge object and you're gonna be changing the attributes so okay let's get back a little bit and let's go to the view documentation you can use it with ria with angular etc so we open the view configuration all right all right so we have to make some steps um, first of all we have to create a view project okay so i'm gonna open bit i'm gonna go with all right i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna open my terminal and i'm gonna go to my document developer folder and here i will paste that co that command to bit start asking me for for creating the project so the name the name is gonna be view particles All right it's gonna be a view javascript project so i'm gonna enter view particles i'm gonna do the npm install for the dependencies and in order to use particle we have to install two more dependencies we have to use this one the view particles so we have we can do it here npm install view particles and this ts particle all right space all right very good so the project is gonna create everything is gonna be okay and i'm gonna open it with visual studio code let's wait a little okay code dot all right now we have the project here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the hello world component. In that hello world component, I will put all this particle JS code. So you can see very quick how to do everything. I will put the, the server on run. Poof. Local host. 5173. Perfect. Here we have our view project. So um, we just installed the dependencies. So let's put hands on the code. First of all, this part, this is going to be in the main JS. So we go into the main JS, we click here, we open a new line, we import the particles and we have to use it. So we came here. Perfect. This file is done. So I'm going to open here the hello world component. Well, the component has, for like always, the script, the template, and the style. So first of all, we're going to change the template. We will put all this template, and we are going to replace it. Boop. Perfect. These particles, I don't want to use shit. And this ID is very important. So all right, all right. We have it, everything done. So the script part. We have to copy and paste this. And doop. And that's all. We have it. We have it. We have it. So this is for TypeScript because sometimes they have a little problem with the type. But well, if I go into my web page, so I'm going to refresh. And it's done. Finally, we have everything here. So First of all, I'm going to change that effect that that effect that we can change it here in the repulse. No, I want this one. Grab, I think is the name. I'm going to refresh. Yeah, with grab, you can create like mini notes. Maybe you cannot see, but it's, it's, it's there. So, well, finally, we have particle yes working in, in our in our browse, in our webs. So we can, for example, change the number of particles to 10. I refresh it. We can put it a limit. We can put the speed. Let's put it like 10. 
and see how they work. <laughs> ah, you know why? Because here we have like two two icons. Let's put it for example in background. Yeah, background. Let's put it a uh, full screen. I I think is the word. No full screen. Enable. Well, through, but see index. It's gonna be minus one. I put a key here, a comma. So I refresh it, and here. Okay, okay. We put the particles in the background. So well. With this easy tutorial, now we have Particle Yes working on our View 3 project. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any doubt, please put it on the comments. Regards.